Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And I was in the middle of editing. I was in the middle of editing. I was editing my catches or my trip from uh, the other day. And I started thinking. I wanted to stop editing. And I wanted to get the camera in front of me and let you know why you need to be fishing this weekend. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Like the video, leave a comment, share. All that helps tremendously. Don't forget, you can also follow us on our other social media platforms. Everything really helps the channel out quite a lot. But thanks for coming back to Texas All Water Fishing, and thanks for clicking on this video. So you might be thinking, Ruben, I, I don't have plans to fish this weekend. I, I have other things going on. You know, my honey-do list is getting kind of long. Well... This is when you push it back. This is when if you can't go out in the afternoon and you only have a small window to go out in the morning, then go out in the morning. If you can't go out in the morning, you only have a small window to go in the afternoon, then go in the afternoon. I'm telling you, this weekend, everything is lining up. All the stars are lining up this weekend to be a great day on the water. I'm telling you. I stopped what I was doing. I'm not putting that fishing video out so I can edit this video and get this video out in front of my last trip. That's serious. That is some serious stuff. When I stop what I'm doing to make a video for you guys, because I want y'all to capitalize on the opportunity that we're all going to see this weekend. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. This weekend is going to be a great day on the water. So I was out a couple days ago. The water temps was in the mid-60s, and that's just right after we had the cold front. That's right after it's getting cold. So the water temp warmed up tremendously yesterday. You feel like temperature yesterday was 91 degrees, and today we're going to kind of have the same thing. So the water is really warming up. Now, I was fishing around West Bay, and the water was a little milky. It was a little sandy. We still had about 18 inches to about 2 feet of visibility, which isn't bad. But the winds are going to start calming down. They calmed down a lot yesterday, so they're going to keep calming down. We might have a few more hours of some strong winds and some stuff going on, but it's going to really, really calm down tremendously uh, overnight until tomorrow morning. So that being said, it's gonna we're going to hit it. The temps are going to be right. The winds are going to calm down. Uh, fish have been moving moving in and around the areas. Last weekend, even with the crazy strong winds, a lot of anglers went out in the kayak tournament series. Saltwater survival series, kayak fishing tournament, a lot of guys put out a lot of big reds. So if you're a kayaker, you think about going to the marsh, you want to go in the marsh, go get it. They're there. They're waiting for you. They called me. Inger baits, voodoo shrimp, wedge tails, voodoo shad. Doesn't matter what you're throwing. They're going to be out there. They're going to be feeding tremendously. I want to take a look and show you a couple things right here on the PC. And reasons why and to prove to you that this is going to be a tremendous, tremendous great weekend. All right, so we'll look at the weather. So this is, I select the Galveston no matter where you're at. You can select your, your own weather. Weather channel, look at Galveston. And this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at these winds. Right, so we finally have some good ones. Look at the look at the temperature. We do have a little bit of rain on Sunday, a little bit of rain on Monday. Not really too concerned with that, but you sh you should always keep an eye at what the weather's doing. Uh, possible thunderstorms moving through the area, but the temp is great. The winds are calming down, calming down tremendously. And I have again, I have, this is Windfinder, and I selected Galveston. You can see right here what I'm talking about. At 10 in the morning, one in the afternoon, the winds start calming down. We've had strong, strong, strong winds since last week, week, week and a half ago. Strong winds finally calming down. Look at this gust. Look at Sunday. Look at Sunday's winds calming down. Yes, there's a little bit of gust, but you know, this is it's the wind, it's the weather. Anything can fluctuate. You just want to just keep it on it. Monday looks like another great day. Oh my gosh! This is this is gonna be this is gonna be phenomenal. This week's gonna be phenomenal. Let's take a look at tidesforfishing.com, and I selected the South Jetty because that's where I'm going to be tomorrow, somewhere around the jetties, jumping on a friend's boat. So we're gonna look here. We have good water movement, not big bite forecast, but good water movement. So we're gonna look at the moon phase, and we recently just had a new moon on Tuesday. We had a new moon. What does a new moon mean, Ruben? Uh, well, actually, it was Wednesday. But the new moon, moon, what the new moon means is that fish aren't feeding overnight. 
uh, typically they're going to wake up super hungry and very aggressive. Now, Wednesday when I did go out, we had an overcast, so I didn't see that sunrise bite like I should have. But hopefully over the next couple days, we're going to have that sunrise bite. So you can see right here, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you know, still not a whole lot of moon activity. Still not very bright overnight. So, yes, it's calling for a little bit of low as far as bite forecast goes, but I'm ignoring that. I'm ignoring the bite forecast. I A lot of times I go by the bite forecast, but it's never, nothing, none of that stuff is ever etched in stone. So we're going to take a look right here. So this is Saltwater Recon. You can look at webcams with Saltwater Recon, Galveston.com, uh, the fishing piers. They all have camera system. Now, I was looking at this, and I've been watching the surf over the last couple of days. And you can't tell right now because it's kind of hazy, kind of foggy out there. But there is a clean line of water that's about 300 yards out. Yes, I confirmed it. It's a clean line of water about 300 yards out. I confirmed yesterday. Today could have been a little different. This morning could have been a little different. I'm still waiting on the phone call uh, to see where the where the clean line is. But it was about 300 yards out. So with the winds going down like they're supposed to, constantly falling and falling and falling, that clean water is going to trickle back in. I'm hoping that clean water trickles back in. Last year, what I noticed a lot of times is that when you have the outgoing tide, a lot of times what that does is that that settles down all the water. That settles down, not the water, that settles down all the settlement. So that that dirtiness that we see around the surf. So I'm calling for it to be clean. What does Swell Info say? Swellinfo.com. Let's check out Swell Info. Swell Info is saying that. Green, fair, clean water. Saturday. What time is that? Four in the morning. Clean water. The tie goes out down. So this is this is like the swell level. So you can see right here it's that chest and that knee. So it goes down throughout the day. It goes out Sunday. Goes out Monday. Look at that. I'm not worried about those little red little red patches, but you you can see that. You can see you have clean patches and dirty patches as far as like the water clarity goes in the surf. As far as far as the um the clean water in the surf, you can have those patches. A lot of times, Galveston might be a little clean, little patchy, and the further down you go to Surfside, the cleaner and cleaner it gets. Right now, looking at the webcams, I can't tell yet because we have an overcast, so I can't see what the water is really doing. I can see what the, um, uh, it's kind of hazy, so I really can't see either. Um, but yeah, look at that surf. Look at that surf. You got to keep an eye on it, though, okay? You got to keep an eye on the surf. Make sure you don't have any uh, riptides. Right now, there is a riptide, and through to today, there is a riptide warning for Galveston and uh, Matagorda, Brazos Island, and so on and so forth. But, yes, swell info. This swell is looking tremendous. Tremendous, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this weekend is going to be popping if you don't if you don't if you don't have plans to go out this weekend and you have honeydew list tell the honey not this weekend tell her give me a little bit of window because i don't care all right so what areas would i target ruben where would i go all right so if you have a boat that entire ferry channel uh west bay I mean, all of that area, I mean, even if you have a shower boat, then go back into the marshes. If you have a nicer, if you, I wouldn't say a nicer boat, but if you have a boat that can handle the jetties a little more, then go out to the jetties. Keep your eye on the swells. Keep your eye on, on what's going on as far as the wind goes right before you go out to make the decision. Um, because, you know, the, the, the jetty can still be a little rough. It can still be a little moving. You know, you may want to take your drama mean to go out there. But you have right now sheephead, abundant amount of sheephead. Nice reds, slot reds, bull reds, black drums, big uglies. All of that, those big fun fish to catch are moving around the jetties. They're moving through the channel. They're going through the area from Pelican Island to Galveston Island in between that corridor all the way out there. Great fish have been caught. Even with the crazy winds and the crazy weather and the cold fronts and the rain, great fish are still being caught out there. So, Ruben, I don't have a boat. Okay. Well, walk out on the rocks. 
You have the North Jetties across the way of the Bolivar. You have the South Jetty that is on the Galveston side. You have Surfside Rocks, and you have the rocks on the other side of Surfside. And it just depends on what direction the wind is blowing and which rocks you want to be on. Which side is the cleaner water? So you can go out there. You can take your big rods out. You can take your big old spoons out, your big old crocodile spoons, your Castmaster spoons, and chunk those. Looking for pompano might be moving in the area. Jackfish might be moving in the area. Might get lucky and get some Spanish mackerel because all all these fish like that clean water and the water temp is there i'm gonna look right here look i'm gonna look right here i already close this off but water temp right now on the beach is 72 degrees perfect 70 is the magic number that's what we want 70 is the magic number I'm telling you i promise you you won't be disappointed ruben i don't have big surf rods fine get your cork get you some very long leader line you can go with 30 or, or 20 pound. The reason why I say 20 pound, because sometimes, you know, those long leader lines will get caught up in that rock. So instead of breaking off your your cork and leaving your cork to kind of float around, we all see those corks around the rocks. Use a 20 pound, and that will break you off, and you can keep your cork. But keep in mind, you got a big fish. You get a big red. You get a Spanish mackerel, something with teeth. You know, that, that 20 pounds is going to pop pretty quick. So you kind of, you know, you play Russian roulette a little bit. You know, a little there, but you can go from a 30 to a, a, even up to a 50 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader line. I want to do mono because mono stretches a lot, but that's just my preference. Uh, when you're trying to land a fish, especially on the rocks, you're not really going to net it or unless you have nets. But, you know, I have those rock cleats so I can really get down there. So I'm not really too worried about landing a fish so much when I am rock fishing off the rocks. Uh, split shot weights. You can always throw your drop your split shot weights, especially if you're fishing off a boat. Split shot, long leader line, fresh uh, live shrimp. Drop it over the side and live shrimp underneath the cork. Uh, you know, and there's there's a or even free lining shrimp. Just keep in mind, the cleaner the water, the easier it is for the fish to see. So if you have like extremely clean, I mean. It's easier for the fish to see your leader line. So if you have extremely clean water conditions, you might want to downsize your leader line. Maybe not go with a 50. Maybe just go with a 30-pound test line. Uh, so, I mean, there's – it's going to be good. I'm telling you. Those reds are cooking in that marsh. I love kayak fishing. Kayak fishing is my first love. That is where I go. That is my go-to. That is my comfort zone. My kayak is an extension of me 100%. If you're in a kayak and you're thinking about going to the marsh this weekend, you better. You better go back there. You better go get those reds, reds, trout, flounder moving around. I mean, it's going to be a very, very fishy next three days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm telling you. Nobody's ever on the water Mondays. Monday is like the best day to fish if you don't want anybody to want to. You want to go explore a new spot, a different spot you haven't been to, and you always see it's always crowded water or it's always a crowded launch point or, you know, a landing or an area to walk in and wait fish. Monday, Monday's a good day. You want to go to Surfside, but you don't want to mess with the crowds on the rocks, then go Monday. Monday's going to be a good day. It's going to be a fishy, fishy day. And the thing that I didn't show you as far as uh, tides for fishing goes, on Sunday and Monday, the bite picks up at sunrise and sunset. So if you're like, Ruben, i got to work Monday, but I might go in the afternoon. Go in the afternoon, fish the sunrise, the sunset bite. It's going to be there. The bite's going to be there. The the clean water should be there. I'm telling you. It's going to be a great weekend. I hope you get out there, guys. I can't stress it enough. I already gave all this information to my patrons. I told them yesterday. I gave them all this information yesterday, and I told them, get off the couch, get in the car, get on the boat, get in the water, get on the rocks, get in the kayak. However you got to do it, go do it. You have to fish this weekend. I'm telling you. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Trust me. Trust me. Thanks, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, subscribe. You know, I'm here for you. You're here for me. We're here for, you know, let's let's make this, you know, a family thing, 100%. If you see me out there tomorrow, don't hesitate to wave or yell or or whatever, you know. Uh, say hi. Definitely always say hi. But I hope next time you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.